Hey everybody, Clay Archer, CEO DVC Technology, and I've got an awesome one today. Not only am I gonna cover two awesome new apps from Unify, but I'm gonna go over their brand new design architecture, which is beautiful and very effective. So Unify just released the U7 Pro XG and the U7 Pro XGS. These are two new high-end access points from Unify, and we'll get into the specs. But before we get into that, I wanna talk about the new design of the WAPs themselves. This is really beautiful industrial design here. If you've used any Wi-Fi 7 access points lately, you will notice how warm they get. And so I think Unify was at a crossroads here where they needed to update the older design but the housing in the, in the plastic they've used in the past probably isn't the best for dissipating heat. So with this new design, there's kind of a metal alloy backplate to it that is actually sort of a heat sink. If you've seen the E7s, you know exactly what we're talking about. But unlike the E7 access point that's square, these are round and they kind of pay homage to that kind of legacy unified design with the circle. It's a really, really well engineered piece of kit here. The materials feel very high end and, and substantial, like you're, you know, opening a door to a Porsche or a Mercedes or something. And I think going forward, you'll probably see more of this in Wi-Fi 7 devices that have to dissipate the heat. Uh, there is no fan in either of these devices, but you can see in the device itself, the design is to dissipate the heat naturally. So for me, when I opened the box the first time, it was, there is a wow factor them. They are very attractive. But let's jump into the specs and we'll talk about the differences between the two devices. So they're both 10 gigabit ethernet uplink ports. Uh, they support one gigabit, 2.5 gigabit, five gigabit, and 10 gigabit, which is awesome. The Pro XG is PoE plus powered and the Pro XG S is PoE plus plus. The Pro XG will do 300 plus connected devices and the Pro XG S will do 500 plus connected devices. The Pro XG will cover 1500 square feet or 140 square meters. And the Pro XG S will do 1750 square feet or 160 square meters. The Pro XG does six stream Wi-Fi 7 that does include six gigahertz and the Pro XGS does eight stream Wi-Fi 7 and obviously includes six gigahertz as well. One of the difference for the XGS and probably the biggest is it one of those radios is for dedicated spectral scanning. I'll actually show that to you when we jump into the software. One other nice piece of news is that these are gonna come in two colors. They're gonna come in both black and white. And as I mentioned before, they are both fanless. And one more thing before we jump into the software, they are announcing a bunch of new XG switches. So right now I am powering this with an enterprise campus switch. Um, you could also power it with a Pro HD. At the time I'm filming this, these are the only two switches that have the 10 gigabit and the POA plus and plus plus to power this, but they are releasing five new switches, which are really cool. There's gonna be a Pro XG48 POE and non-POE. There's gonna be a Pro XG24 POE and a Pro XG24 non-POE. There's also gonna be a Pro XG10, which is a 1U rack mountable 10 port switch. Those ports are 10 gigabit ethernet and POE plus plus. Then there's gonna be a Pro XG8, which is gonna be a compact desktop switch with eight 10 gigabit ethernet ports, and those are POE++, all awesome. And finally, there will be a Pro XG aggregation switch. Those are all super exciting to me. I will review them when I get them in my hands, but those are gonna make it much easier to power these 10 gigabit access points. So with that, let's jump into the software real quick and we will adopt one of these devices. All right, so you can adopt this one of two ways. You can either adopt it on your phone through the network app. I'm gonna adopt it here on the computer. I've got it logged in here and I am on my cloud key. So it popped right up and said, new device detected UXG Pro detected on the cloud key. So I'm gonna go ahead and add. And as I mentioned before, I am powering this with the ECS48 PoE. Uh, you can see I've got it plugged in here on port three. I'm really excited about these enterprise switches. I will have a full review of all the enterprise gear once I have our new server closet and rack all up and installed. All right, so that quickly was up and adopted. That literally probably took uh, a minute or two. It was very, very quick. So we'll quickly go through and just take a quick look at it. I'm gonna skip Radio Manager for now. We'll go back into Radio Manager and I will show you that spectral analyzer. You can see here are two gigahertz, five gigahertz and six gigahertz information. And here you can see your key channel usage. I'll go into Radio Manager where you can see that much better. I will say this is in our meeting room. And although there's nobody in the meeting room today because we're not having a meeting, there can be 40 or 50 people in there using cell phones and all their stuff there. So the reason I bring that up before your 50 people is uh, I think this is going to be, you know, if you're, if you're looking at the difference between the XG and the SGS, uh, we'll kind of go through why I would choose one or the other. But you can see here, we got all the different control of the radios here where we can change things up. I'm gonna leave everything in auto for now and just leave everything as default. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply changes. And I'm gonna go back into the radio manager and we'll take a look and see what's going on in the radio. So now that I have the new radio manager, this is pretty much where you come in to see uh, information about your access points and how they are performing. 
And I'm sure a lot of people are going to go, should I get the Pro XG or should I get the Pro XGS? Other than the extra radius and a little bit more power that it's got, I think the the real kicker is going to be your ability to go in here into environment and analyze what's going on in the spectrum. So uh, I'm just popping in here real quick. It's going to do an analysis. And what it's basically going to do is in each one of my different bandwidths, it's going to show me what's what's going on inside of that bandwidth right now. What's going on in my 2.5 gigahertz and what you're going to see on this waterfall is as things change over time, you're going to see it fall down in here. So you could say, okay, it looks like channel 8 or channel 11 over here looks like it's less busy. And you can do this for each different part of the spectrum. So obviously in my office, you know, this 10,000 square foot building uh, and my neighbors are quite a bit away from me on each side. I don't have a ton of interference here, uh, but you can see 86 gigahertz, there's basically very, very little, if anything, going on in 6 gigahertz. And 5 gigahertz, I'm pretty wide open here too. That looks really good for uh, 5 gigahertz. And same thing for even a 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, you know, there is a lot of noise down here, but I've got some spots in here where I can use it. This is obviously where the, the preponderance of the devices in my uh, office are, are still those kind of IoT 2.4 gigahertz kind of legacy stuff. You can imagine that you are in a high rise building or you're in a downtown corridor where there's just Wi-Fi everywhere. The ability to use this to design your network to figure out where is the least interference that I can put my networks and have them reside is worth its weight in gold. So for somebody that's putting this, like I mentioned before, let's just say you're putting it in an office in a high rise building where there's just a ton of competing uh, Wi-Fi signals, that would be a spot where the XGS would probably be a better purchase than the XG. For me here in my office, other than the curiosity and wanting to nerd out with it, I think I could probably save the $100, get the XG, and I don't necessarily need to, to, do, to do anything with this. One thing that I will say, you know, and this is long-term, and I know nothing about this, I'm just saying this just to, to, to put it out there. The ability to have the spectral analyzer on the device, at some point in the future, I would assume that Unify will start to use that to go, okay, I can auto switch to the best one and use kind of AI to generate where it thinks the best spot to be is on the spectrum. Having a radio dedicated to do that is going to give them the ability to do more things with this in the future as they develop into, you know, network 10 and network 11, network 12 down the down the road. So for the hundred extra hundred dollars there may not be for everybody if you don't need the extra range, if you don't need the extra uh, radios and you don't need the spectral analyzer, then you could save the, the hundred bucks and you're going to get screaming fast Wi-Fi out of the XG. I really think the Pro XGS for the extra hundred dollars at 299 is a really nice tool, especially if you're going to manage this remotely for a client in a space where you're going to have complaints from the end user about interference and slow Wi-Fi speeds. I think in that instance, you know, the extra hundred dollars that you put in this from a technical tool standpoint is probably money well spent. I will quickly throw up a Wi-Fi man speed test. My office is not the place to do a speed test. You will also know that I'm not the world's biggest fan of Wi-Fi speed tests slash reviews on the internet. You can see really quickly in the spectral analyzer that my office here, I'm going to beat somebody that's in a, a noisy spot. So I wouldn't want to say, hey, you're going to get this kind of speed or you're going to get that kind of speed when so much of it is dependent on your environment. That is a use case for the spectral analyzer. So this new U7 Pro XG line fits right above U7 Pro and U7 Pro Max and right below the E7 access point. I think the big differentiator between buying a U7 Pro or U7 Pro Max and a U7 Pro XG or U7 Pro XGS is the new form factor. I think the heatsink being built into it is, is absolutely beautiful. It's very gracefully done. Also, you're getting that 10 gig uplink, which is future proofing yourself and giving you a ton of throughput through the device. Again, I'm beating a dead drum here, but if you've watched my videos over the last six months, I'm really just impressed with the options that Unify is giving us. So this is another really nice option that slots right in between those pros and the enterprise. So we're talking a small price in increase over the pros, only $10 for the XG and $20 for the XGS. And even more exciting than that, I think it's showing us their new design cues for the future, which is really exciting. So I'm sure you'll have a bunch of questions. Please ask them down below. I try to get to all of those. If you have any comments, we'd like those too. As always, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video.